Okay, I want to send a video to a parent of a patient, and I'm also going to post this on YouTube because I think it really speaks to the importance of modern technology and orthodontics with respect to simulating a treatment. Here is the patient where she came in at the start of treatment. And you can see on the left here uh, quite a bit of crowding, particularly with regard to this one tooth. There was a little bit of space available here, but you see how this was displaced. And I would call this a narrow V-shaped arch. The lower teeth at the time had crowding, um, severe crowding. What I want you to notice is look at how these teeth are inwardly leaning. That's important in the diagnosis of this. And so also we did have overjet and a bit of an open bite tendency and the midline was way off to the left. Now this patient came to me for a second opinion because they were told they needed to have four teeth removed. Removing four teeth in this case would not necessarily have been the wrong choice, but what I did was, uh, because we like to avoid removing teeth, and what I did was I simulated what braces and Invisalign and or Invisalign could do. And if you watch, the movements that are playing out are, well, if you're not an orthodontist, trust me, these are achievable movements. And if you are an orthodontist, I set it up so we have kind of a tipping movement because the teeth were retroclined to start and also some expansion. Um, now, this is where the lower arch is right now. And what we did was a combination of braces and Invisalign. And on the top, no palate expander, just braces and Invisalign. Now, I still have some work to do with the root torque on this tooth. Um, here is the overbite and overjet. And here's the interesting thing. The patient did have a concern that at the start of treatment, the teeth were flaring forward somewhat. And that is one possible sort of uh, factor to consider when you might be considering orthodontic extractions that teeth are out, maybe you want to extract. But I believed if we would have extracted, we would have had way too much space. And now, just by virtue of lining everything up, you'll notice the projected result did have a little bit of, of flaring, but forget that. This is where we are now. That's where we started and look at the flaring, somewhat flaring, and now look how it's upright without taking teeth out. With arch expansion, very little interproximal reduction. The dad did not want me to do interproximal reduction, nor did the dentist. We did a little, but I'm just thrilled with this result we decrease the protrusion and fit all the teeth into the beautiful uh, alignment. So um, had I not had this tool to simulate the result, I would have removed teeth. And I believe that would have been the wrong choice. Certainly she would have lost four healthy teeth. Uh, I hope this is interesting and uh, helpful to anyone out there. And to dad, see, we did it.